great. I'm stuck going to school again. I really fucking hate school. But, where the ass titties is Miss Martin? And why the fuck am I the only student here? I can answer that you little foul-mouthed brat. Holy dog shit. Who are you? My name is Mrs. Sour, and I'm your new teacher, Kalu. Where's Miss Martin? And why does your voice sound so shitty? Miss Martin quit her job as a preschool teacher to become a college professor. As for my voice, years of smoking caused my voice to crack so badly that I had to get a voice box. That sounds like that sucks donkey dick. Quit that language now before I grab a bar of old boy soap to wash your dirty mouth out with. Now, you are my only students due to nobody else wanting you in their class. So, it's just me and you. You stinky little diaper messer. Now, here are the rules. No cussing, burping, farting, sneezing, peeing, pooping, laughing, dancing, or sleeping in this class. If you do any of these, you will spend after-school detention with me. You will follow a strict schedule created by me, and if it gets interrupted, you will get detention. Any complaints, detention. Any other behavior that is bad, detention. Isn't that a little over the top? My class. My rules. And if anyone who comments on this video complains of my special rules for you, you will get detention. That's not fair. That gives the commenters more reason to get me in trouble. I don't care. Now time for class. Oh good. The bell. Time to go home. Not so fast. You got this to do at home. What's this? Homework. And it's due tomorrow. Now get out of here and I will see you tomorrow. I'm home. My god. My day was fucking awful. How awful was it? It was. Hey, do you think I'm telling a joke? Well, I can't take you seriously because of how much of a little shit you are. Now, how is school today, Baldy? First off, fuck you. Second, I have a new teacher who is a real tyrannical bitch. Oh wow. Teacher is a tyrannical bitch, huh? Well, it's a good thing you got a strict teacher. You fucking deserve it. For cussing at me? I told you many fucking times to treat me with fucking respect, you little anus looking nappy shitting dingleberry. You are fucking grounded. Go to your room. Wah, 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 re. What did you expect? I let him get away with that shit. If you got any suggestions of what I should do, leave them in the comments. Um, this is pretty awkward. Welp, I might as well prepare for any requests from this one. Alright Kalu, you will be doing a 100 math question assignment that will involve addition. You have one hour to do it. If you don't do it, you will get detention. Got it? I heard you, you fat ugly bitch. Excuse me. You know the rules here, Kalu. You will be achieving detention. I can't wait to hear what your father will have to say about your filthy mouth. I got a spelling question for you. What does F, U, C, K, Y, O, U, F, A, T, T, I, D, D, Y, B, I, T, C, H. Spell? Give up. It spells fuck you fat titty bitch. Oh wow. How original. I've written 20 books about students like you telling me garbage like that. You will be spending time in detention for a week now. Write about this you saggy booby hag. <coughs> you forgot to pull down your pants stupid. Looks like you will be spending the rest of the day in poopy pants and the rest of the month in detention. Now excuse me while I call your father. Oh shit. Oh my god Kalo. Is this fucking 2020? You seriously shit your fucking pants at school again? What the hell is wrong with you? I tried to poop up Mrs. Sour, but I forgot to pull down my pants and nappy. Well all of that shows how much of a fucking idiot you are. You didn't pull down your pants to shit, and you tried to shit at your teacher. This doesn't deserve a grounding or punishment. This deserves an execution. Oh no, you don't mean. Unleash the butt cheese. Oh god, no. I'm a 
alive, bitches. This is the life. Nothing to ruin this day. Looks who's wrong, fuck knocker. That's for drowning me in fucking cow shit, you limp dick asshole. Limp dick? That's for punching me in the fucking face. I think my eyeballs just fucking went up my body. Oh my fucking god. Your voice. This isn't funny, dick rat. I'm gonna piss my pants. But seriously, for coming back to life and punching me, you are grounded, grounded, grounded until your balls return to their proper place. Now go to your room. Even his crying is fucked up. Well, well, well. Back from the dead, I see. Too bad your after school detention is still in effect, and it's been extended. What? Seems that someone by the name of Curtis Burkhart told me that my special rules that I have for you sucks. That's a stupid lie. You're doing this because you're a tyrannical bitch. Look at the board, dummy. Curtis, you asshole. Look what you fucking done. And for the added foul language and that idiotic insult, your detention will extend into spring break. This is so stupid. I'm glad that you have come today, Mr. Anderson. Here at Cornwall Pre-Academy, we want the best for our students as well as good correspondence to parents on their progress. I would like to say that we've had a lot of trouble with your son. From the extensive notes we got from his teacher, he is a problematic case. Sadly, he is the main reason why Miss Martin is no longer with us as she has moved on to become a college professor overseas. Fan-fucking-tastic. Also, get that fucking shit-eating smirk off your goddamn face Kalo before I beat it off of you. Now, as the principal of this school, I called you here to give us consent to give your son some more severe punishments here on the campus. More severe punishments? Tell me more. Well, we were thinking of adding the paddle as one, and the use of either a belt or a good quality leather strap for another. You got to do more than that. How about you put him in a very dark room and leave him there for an hour while playing some really good creepy pasta readings? Then, after he pisses or shits himself in fear, have some random staff member smash him with a hammer. Dad, no. Shut your fucking mouth. Adults are talking. Ooh, I love it. There are also some good people out there that can give you some really good suggestions. Ain't that right, viewers? Oh yes, we would love to take suggestions that are good enough to punish Kalu here at this school. Make sure you take suggestions that are appropriate to this channel's standards. Sir Cooley D. Awesome is very strict about that since the time he got some really fucked up suggestions. Oh yes, we won't tolerate suggestions like that. Can you idiots stop breaking the fourth wall and get on with it? Fuck. Now I did it too. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Should we? Just continue on with it before he comes back. Right, right. Very well then. Do we have your consent as Kayla's parent to allow stricter and severe punishments to your son? Absolutely. Very well. I would like to thank you Mr. Anderson for giving us your consent. This sucks Gorilla Nutchies. Too bad Kalu. If you weren't a terrible student, this wouldn't happen to you. We have no problem with punishing you now that your father is alright with it. Oh, don't even worry about his mother's thoughts. She gets so doped up on drugs that she doesn't even care what happens to him. Oh shit. Sorry to hear about that. No problem. Now, Kalo, it's time to leave. It's back to the grounding basement with you, and even a nice visit with Mech Grounder. I thought he was dead. The original one. Yes. However, Sir Cooley built a new version. Now let's go. Wah, 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 me. Never heard that cry like that. You motherfucker. What did I do? I told you asshole not to break the fourth fucking wall. Now you're going to get it. Please no. Mech Grounder. Take care of this piece of shit. Oh fuck. Please don't kill me. Stop. No. No. And then I told that fat bitch to suck my dick. Then I decided to take a shit at her. I remembered to pull down my pants this time. Couldn't stop laughing after seeing her covered in all of that rank ass gravy. Oh uh, yeah. That's great Kilu. When are we going to play some Jackbox games? Jack off game so god. Well, here's the thing. After dad found out what happened. He smashed my PC like a bug. So, Jackbox games are out of the question. You could have told us that before we came over, you dick. <coughs> Not duck, Galu, dick. Like the baby one forgetful shit pants ass. Kalu go wee wee with baby pee pee. You guys are assholes. Who's an asshole? 
Oh shit. I swear to God. If you are talking about me, I will. Hi daddy daddy doo doo. Kalo? What are these two shitholes doing here? I am I. I think we should be leaving now, Kalo. Oh no you don't. The both of you are staying here. Kalo. Remember what I told you what would happen if these horse apple abominations were caught here again? Punishment day? You're damn right punishment day. And here is your first punishment, shoving that classic clone up the ass of that retardo lazy one. Do I have two? What do you fucking think? What the fuck dude? Galo, can you believe? What the fuck? Galo's poopy poopy hole ready. Do it. I'm sorry, Kalu. No. Oh god. It stinks like unwiped ass hair. No. No. Re. Galu feel weird. Galu fat. Now, your second punishment. Now shove this bomb up his shitter now. Um, okay. But feel funny. Now get the fuck out of here. Me? No dipshit. Lard ass over there. Le uh. Now what? Look out the window. Le uh. What the fuck? Congrats. You just rid the world of classic Kalo and Galu. Now, follow me. What are we going to do here? Your final punishment. You are going to eat that pie. What is wrong with it? Why is it black? It's the Marie Callender pie that Sharon Weiss burned from last Thanksgiving. You are going to enjoy every slice of it. Bone apple tea. Ugh, this is so gross. Fucking eat it. Ugh. That completes your punishments. Oh, fuck. You're cleaning that up. God, it's boring as fuck here as always. Stuck in my room with nothing to do. Well, he can fix that. Wabu, where have you been? Musual thing. But that is not important. I'm going to suggest something to you, Caillou. You should become a boxer. A boxer? I can do that. I love beating up shit. I did punch my dumbass dad in the face some time back. What you should do is go punch your stinky little sister, senior mother, and senior father. After that, go to the youth boxing tournament at the fight club down the street from your school. Thanks, Wabu. You're the best. That Caillou is so stupid. Uh, uh, ooh. That feels better. Now to get mom to clean me out of this stinky nappy. Yeah, be kai a bit. What the ass crackers was that? I'm Charles Bronson. Booyah. The actor? I swear to God if this is another request where I get hit in the face, I will. Oh god damn it. Oh sweet, this must be the place. Time to sign up. Hello? Welcome to the Youth Fight Club. How can I help you? I want to sign up to be a boxer. Is there a fight available? Well, there is one person looking for an opponent who came to fit your size despite he's a little older. Fucking sweet. I'll take them on. Well then, it's time to get this tournament started. This is so fucking awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I would like to welcome you to the Kickers the Ass Youth Boxing Tournament. Throughout these one-on-one -on -one matches, we are going to see all these slot nose bats beat the other living shit out of each other. For our first match, in this corner, we're in the 55 pounds, Jimmy. Sarah, I really, really, really don't want to do this. Jimmy, quit being such a fucking pussy. My stupid brother and his friends have already collected a shit ton of bets. You better win this fight so we can get some fudge. I'm making fudge in my pants right now. He shapes and smells like poo poo. And now, coming in to fight this whiny pants crapper, weighing in the 50 pounds, Kalu. Oh fuck yeah. Here comes the next world champion bitches. Ugh, what the fuck happened? You slip it on an ice cube and hit your head on the old cedar of the boxing ring. What? 
Oh, it was funny as hell. Everyone was looking at your bald ass until the medics arrived to bring you here. Oh, you lost to your opponent by default by the way. Too bad. Where the fuck is that boy at? Well, it's time for me to go. Bye bye stupid Caillou. Well, isn't karma a bit for you? Funny enough, your mother, Rosie, and I just got healed from our injuries, but your dumb ass gets to be here for a while. I just wanted to be a boxer like Wabu suggested. Shit for brains. There is no fucking Wabu. I told your idiotic ass this over and over again. What's going to happen to me now? Am I grounded? Oh. Even better. The doctor is going to give you something special as your punishment. A special Carolina Reaper hot sauce enema. Hope your colon and asshole are ready. Oh. Here he comes. My fucking ass is on fire. Wah, 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 re. I don't like this. Every time I'm in this room, Kalo does something stupid. Last couple of times, he hit me in the fucking face. If he, oh shit. I fucking knew it. My fucking head. Serves you right you little fart knocker. Now, for all the shit you pulled, prepare for some ultra punishments. First off, this. Hey, let me go bat fucker. Let me fucking go. Fuck you. Help, please. I'm being abused. Nice try. Everyone, and I do mean everyone, hates your whiny nappy shitting cry baby ass. Well then. I guess I have no other choice. Oh, no. It's go time, bitch. Ah, what a nice day to cook outside. Why me? I hate to report that I am broken and I'm in need of repairs. Oh joy, the bus is here. Time to go home after a long day at work. Now, why me? Where are we? I don't know, but it will be here gravesite. We'll see about that, you little shit. Bomb to set off in three, two. One. Detonate. What's up, Cooley? Nothing much, Barney. Just off to get some pizza. Want to join? Oh, hell yeah. Holy shit. What was that? Dude. Look. God damn it, Kalo. Because of your bullshit, we are butt ass naked in the middle of town. Go suck a dick, you asshole. Hello, everyone. Boris and Kalo are butt ass naked in the middle of town. Let's all point and laugh at their humiliation. <laughs> I can't believe we're in jail because of you. I still wish to this day that you were never fucking born. Blah 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 fuckface. I wish they would have given me some clothes. It's cold in this fucking place. I don't want to hear another word from your disrespectful lip. Now go to the fucking corner over there. Eat this. Nice try. But you're still grounded. Ugh. What is that nasty ass stank? Looks like one of them shot in the cell. And by the look of it, it was probably Caillou. Ah. Sir Cooley. What are you doing here? Probably seeing your dumb ass with. Hey, who the fuck is that other dick lad? Bernard Frederick Judd. Barney for short. You should already know me shit for brains. I was in charge of the youth fight club match that you were supposed to fighting, but your dumb ass slipped on an ice cube. We're here to bail you out, Boris. We also brought you some clothes. Aw oh, gee. You're the best. Hey, what about me? We only had enough money to bail Boris out. Plus, you suck. Now come on. I have to go fix Mac Grounder. Again. Thanks again, guys. I owe you a big one. No problem, dog. At least you won't have to deal with any more shit today. It's not fucking fair. Wah, 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 wah. I want to thank those subscribed to my channel for over 500 subscriptions. I really appreciate your support. Well, after several weeks of testing, I can only say wow. You are the dumbest little shit I have ever dealt with. And looking at your answers, I really don't know how in the actual fuck you come up with something like 3 plus 5 equals but 6. Oh that's easy. I just think of putting the 3 and the 5 together. How in the great mind of William James Cities did you come up with? Easy sour.
This is Gail where you're dealing with not postseason three SpongeBob. All I can say is you fail at life as a human being. I don't even know if I can even consider you one due to how stupid you are. I know newborns that are smarter than your ass, says the cottage cheese filled titty bitch who looks like the global Balab's retarded sister. Oh shit son. He done fucked up. I better get out of here before shit really hits the fan. You little fuck nugget. How fucking dare you. I'm going to make sure you're put in detention for a lifetime. Good luck with that you stupid That's fucking it. I had enough of your shit. It is time I make everyone pay for your fucking existence. What the ass titties? Behold, I am Mrs. Sour the Teeth Teacher. Face my teeth. Face my motherfucking teeth. Ray uh, uh, Oh fuck, I just shy so hard that my shit blew out my nappy. I'm getting out of here. Ray uh, uh, Face my teeth, but fuckers. Face my motherfucking teeth. Ray uh, uh, Dad, 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 you won't believe what happened, Mrs. Sour. What? Turned into a fucking teeth teacher? It's been all over the news, you little baldo fucker. More chaos and destruction is currently happening with the attack of the giant teeth teacher. The National Guard is doing their best to subdue and hopefully calm down the aging school teacher. Whoever pissed her off will more likely be grounded, punished, or even worse, executed. Oh, 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 oh. Kalo. How dare you piss off Mrs. Sour so much that she turned into a fucking teeth teacher. That's it. You are. Hello. I'm busy at the moment. Oh. Yes. 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 Of course. I'll let him know. Bye. Well, guess what, asshole? That was your fucking principal. He wanted to let me know that you are expelled. Which now I have to deal with your fucking ass now. You got to be fucking kidding me. Fucking expelled. You're going to pay daily for this, you little fucking prick. Jail, again? This is not fair. Why does this happen to me? Mm. Yummy, you're me. Another fresh course for me here in Juvie. Oh shit, not nah, ooh. ooh, 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 ooh. Well, that was fucking horrible time in Juvie. God, I don't even want to think about it, especially that fat asshole. Kaya, I know you're in there. You better come out here now. You got to be kidding me. Get the fuck out of here, you fat freak. I'm not letting you eat my shit. Go back to the sick hole you came from. God damn, it seems like that dicky butt eating pingers will not leave me the fuck alone. Next time I see him, I'm going to shove a bomb up his shitter. God. I'm so high off of cat dookie so hard right now, I think I'll. Kalo? You bad boy. You are in so much trouble. What? What did I do? You went wee wee all over the carpet. There's piss everywhere. What? I don't even have a carpet. Also, why would I piss in my room? I'm actually stepping in this big fucking puddle. Don't fucking lie to me, boy. Are you fucking high on something? Oh. You are grounded. Now come over here and get your punishment. What the fuck is going on in here? Kalo. What did you do now? Mom is grounding me for something I didn't do. Doris. Tell me what he did. He went pee piddle pee on the carpet, and then he threw his dick at me. Oh sweet Christ. What did you eat? Your breath stinks of rancid shit. I ate some of Gilbert's little presents from his cat box. I also smoked some of it. You got to be kidding me. You're high on cat shit? Plus, Gilbert's been dead for three years now. I thought we got rid of that stanky litter box. Plus, there has never been carpet in this room. Also, Kalo wears a nappy. All the piss and shit goes into it, not the wooden floor we are standing on. Okay. I'll admit that I'm a little high, and you look like a cookie right now. Are you a cookie? No. I am not a cookie. <laughs> I think I'm about to barf out Gritty Kitty. Oh god, she puked all over the hallway. Never mind that. 
I got a bone to pick with you. That fat kid that comes here is getting on my nerves. You're not the only one. Next time he comes here again, you're sticking a bomb up his ass like we did to that other friend of yours. Got it? He's not my friend, Dad. I don't give a rat's ass. Now stay in your room and die already. Joke's on Mom. I've been grounded since pissing off Mrs. Sour. I hate my fucking life. I think the coast is clear. This has been a day I've been waiting for. Dad is going to make some roasted chicken tonight. And he uses these spices for it. It's been a while since I did something bad. And I got a good one. I bought some super strong laxatives and diuretics using some money I saved up for years. Time to do the thing. I filled the spices with this strong shit. Time to get out of Dodge. Ha 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 ha. Yee yee. The chicken should be dethawed by now. Ah. My good spicy friends. It's time for some good cooking tonight. Several hours later. Well, everyone is here, and the chicken is ready to eat. Smells pretty good. Can I be excused? I need to wash my hands. Fucking hell, Kalo. You need to do that before we eat. You better hurry your ass up or there will be no chicken left. Okay. Well, dig in. That chicken was so good. We ate it all. Honestly, Kalo can go eat shit for all I care. He's too stupid for my cooking. Ugh, something doesn't feel right. Rosie, are you okay? I think I need to go poo poo and pee pee really badly, but I can't hold it. No, it's all coming out. I don't feel good as well. What the fuck? I just shat and pissed my pants. This isn't right. How could this? Holy fucking shit. Crap, crap, crap. I need to crap. Kalo. What the fuck is taking you so long to wash your hands? Get out of the fucking bathroom now. I'm taking a big stinky winky dad. Gonna take a while. Bull fucking shit. Get out of my way, dumb ass. I'm going to nuke the toilet to kingdom come. Oh, gross. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ. It's coming out like lava. What the fuck? It must have been that breakfast burrito I had at McStinky's. There. All better. Though I feel bad for Doris and Rosie. I wonder if it was. You little fucking shit. You did something to my chicken. Didn't you? Um. No. I didn't. It must have been some bad chicken. Don't lie to me, you little shit. If you don't tell me the truth right now, I'm going to do something really, really, really terrible to you. Something you will fucking regret for the rest of your pathetic little life. Okay, I put laxatives and diuretics in your spices that you use for the chicken. You little prick. You poisoned us. Oh, I got a good punishment for you. Since you didn't eat the chicken on the table, you are going to eat the chicken fresh from that toilet bowl. Please, not that. Too late. Now go eat your supper. Now. This is how. <clears throat> I'm going to be sick. <laughs> there. Now that's done. You're grounded and will have to eat every meal I make for you using those poison spices until they are all used up. Understand. I'll take that as a yes. Now I got to help clean your mother, Rosie, and that gigantic mess you caused up. This is one shitty night. Ever since I got expelled from school, I've been thinking of a way to get back at that fat bitch of a teacher for going all teeth teacher on me. I think I know what to do. I'll break into her house and piss all over her floor. It will be like that banned episode of the chipmunks that never got made. I better make this quick. I got no time to lose. This must be it. The lair of the fat beast herself. God, my bladder is so full right now. But I must hold on. 
So, this is her place, got to admit, it fits just like her. A dump, speaking of relieving oneself, it's time to let the floodgates open. Here it comes. Ah, that feels so good. Well, it's like they say, pee, when you gotta let it go, let the piss go with the flow. Another wonderful day at work. And thank god that I don't have to deal with Gale Lou anymore. What is that liquid sound? Ah, all done. I sure made one gigantic pond in her ugly ass kitchen. Oh shit. Oh 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 oh. Kalu, did you break into my house and piss all over my floor? Of course I did you ugly bitch. It's what you get for getting me expelled. You little prick. That was your own fucking fault. And now, you made it a lot worse with both breaking and entering, desecrating my floor, and indecent exposure to boot. Bitch, you got nothing on me. Hello, 911. I would like to report a crime. Well, I got that done. Time to go take a big giant shit in dad's bed. Excuse me, hate to stop your day of fun, but this very nice police officer wants to have a word with you, boy. Kalu. Did you break and enter into your former teacher's home, urinate on her kitchen floor, and expose your genitals at her? Um, I, uh... Answer his question or he'll beat it out of you. Yes, I did. Well, with that said, you're under arrest. Now, let's head straight to Juvenile Hall. I think an old friend of yours is waiting for you there. Oh, no. Baby is going to eat some chocolate tonight. Poopy fuck dicks, I'm so fucking pissed right now. I keep going to jail every fucking time. Fuckity fucky fuck, I think it's time for me to give two particular assholes payback for not letting me out of jail the first time I went. Well, all I got to say is that this place is the spot. Well, you did tell me several times how hot the bitches are at this place. Of course, Julian's Palace has the hottest bitches in town, and when they strip those G-strings down, you'll be in for a treat. Oh shit baby. Let's see those titties. What the fuck, man? Dog. What the fuck was that shit about? Odd horse shit. It's fucking Caillou. Hey, you little dipshit. What's your gutman problem? That's payback for not bailing me out, you fucking pricks. Bitch, please. You're not worth the money and time. All you are is a little bitch that whines all the fucking time. Plus, you suck. Big time. You're the bitches around here. You can eat shit like the rest of the assholes here. Dude. That is the weakest insult I heard. Plus, assholes don't do shit. They shit. Dumbass. You got to be kidding me. You again. I told you when you got out that if you would act up again, I will take you back in to see your chubby buddy. Oh, I don't have to worry about that fat turd eater. I blew his ass up. Dude. We don't have a problem with gay people, but keep that shit to yourself. We don't want to know what you two do in the cell. I blew him up with a bomb I kept in my ass. Dude. We don't want to know the details. That's fucking gross. I blew him up so hard with the bomb I had in my ass that he splattered everywhere. We don't want to hear that shit. We already told you to stop, so for the love of God, stop. I've heard enough. Galu, you're under arrest. Now prepare to go to jail again. Hey officer, I got a request to make. Actually, before I arrest you, these two gentlemen will pound you really really hard whoa what the fuck are you making them do that to me no you stupid yank they're going to beat you up no stop i still haven't paid my last hospital b <coughs> shit where am i welcome to the federal prison hospital i allowed these two to beat the hell out of you and decided to take you to the best prison in the state dog you screamed like an infant do you always shit your pants when an adult gives you a good ass beating? We had to stop and laugh about that. Why isn't my dad here? Oh, when I spoke to him on the phone, he told me that you were grounded, grounded, grounded for your eternal damnation. He honestly said that he didn't want to waste the time to come here. Well, that's good I guess. But why am I in a federal prison? Fuckwood. You are in here for murdering another juvenile. You blew him up with a bomb. Remember shit for brains. Congrats, Galu. You are the youngest person to have committed murder that this prison has now. Enjoy lethal injection. Fuck, I forgot this state has the death penalty. I would like to mention that I do not condone the actions that happened or what was said in this video. Everything that was done or said to Galu is illegal in real life. 
and this channel does not condone anything illegal. So, with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bitches. Alright my lovely pets, it's time for dinner, and we are having castrated beef, again. We hate castrated beef forever, can't we eat something else? You're eating it and you're gonna love it. Now stop complaining. This is hell, not Detroit. Why am I here? I was a good boy. Good boy my ass. You beat up old ladies and ate shit from other kids. This is your new home now child. And keep dancing Galo. I quite enjoy your stupidity. Poopy poopy poopy, Galo need to poopy dance. Oh shit, not this place again. Well, 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 if it isn't Kalao. Sent here for the third time now. I'm really starting to get annoyed by you. Especially since all I hear is complaints about you by my latest gifts from you. You really got some nerves showing up here you fucking prick. I wanted to eat more duty sauce. But no, you killed me instead. Fuck hole. Kalu dance with Galu, play jack off games too. Why isn't Bob saying anything? When cows come here, they revert back to mooing. Ain't that right beef chuck? With that said, I'm not going to deal with you. You're too much of a pain in the ass to have here. Not even my pit of eternal fire is good enough for you. Instead, I'm sending you back. Being hated by everyone, grounded and punished by everyone is good enough. Now get the fuck out of hell you motherfucking waste of creative space. Kabuma. Fuck no, not again. I may be the devil, but I'm not going to let that little hated fuck to dim my domain. This is nice. With Kalo dead, things have been quite peaceful. To be honest, lethal injection was too good for him, but who cares, he's gone. Fuck the ever living fuck. Fuck the devil, fuck hell too. Everyone there is a bitch anyway, oh crap. Get to your fucking room now. Can I ever get a break? Fuck no. You don't deserve one and you'll never get one. I hate my life. Oh fuck yeah. This is the best motherfucking game I ever played. Look, look. But you will kill me. I love Trevor. He is the best out of all the GTA 5 characters. GTA 5 is the best game of all time. Oh really? Despite your way too fucking young to play that overrated shit, Kalo. You know playing games like GTA is going to make you stupid and dumb like a lazy ass high schooler who always gets caught jacking off to Coco Melon. Also, the computer is too weak to even play it. My PC. I'm not even going to buy you a new one. Actually, I don't think I need to ground you. This is a good enough punishment for you. Good luck dumpster diving for another old ass PC that can't even play that retarded Fortnite shit you piss your pants over about. Now excuse me. I'm going back to do something very fucking important than continue to hound you over your stupidity, dipshit. This sucks. I knew I shouldn't have tried to play that game on Vista. Oh fuck yeah. Back to the 80s with Tommy Versetti. What the fuck are you looking at? Vice City is the true best GTA game along with San Andreas. I like Vice City more, and Rockstar. Give us GTA 6 already you money hungry fuck nuggets. Ha ha ha, I made the world into Plotagon. This is so fucking awesome. Kayla, you piece of fucking shit. How dare you turn the world into Plotagon. It's going to take me a week to turn everything back to rapper offline. Fuck you, rapper offline is gay. Plotagon is the shit. The only shit you like is from your idiotic ass. That's it. You are grounded until I can fix everything back to rapper offline. Wah. Wah wah wah. Wah wah wah. Re. Next time you do this shit, I'm going to make a hell ton of punishment day videos. I'm going to poop all over my room. Ha ha ha. Poopy poopy everywhere. Ha 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 -y. Oh my fucking god Kalo, did you shit all over your goddamn room? You are so fucking grounded. And, for your punishment, I'm going to shit on you. No, don't. <laughs>
I don't know how to feel right now. After hearing how Kano got executed for killing a fat disgusting kid really saddens me. I really wish I could bring him back to life. What do you think Boots? You really think that can work? All I have to say is that you are one smart monkey. Well, off I go to bring Kano back. I really need to get out of this hellhole. This child is fucking bananas. It took me a while, but I think the ritual is ready. Time to bring Kano back from the dead using an ancient necrocraftian spell I learned from Diego. Lamba ikri oplam opli zona i a. What the fuck? Poopy poopy everywhere. Oh no, my voice is Jennifer. Where uh uh. Who the fuck are you? You are not Kano? Kayla Kayla pee pee wee wee. I am the Aliak Aliak Aliak. Where uh uh. Oh dear sweet Jesus. What have I done? Stupid girl summon the Aliak. Aliak hungry. Must devour soul or else tacos and poopy poo rain from the sky. Where uh uh. Get back. No. No. Help me. No. Holy crap. Where am I? I'll tell you where you are. You're in hell, and I'm the devil. Congratulations. You gave yourself a one-way ticket to here for summoning Oliak. I hope you are happy you dumb little bitch. I was meant to summon Kano back from the dead. That little shit. I sent him back to the mortal plane because I didn't want him here. But you know what, you will do nicely. Everyone hates you like they do for Kalao, but you make people look very fucking stupid. Also, that spell you did didn't just summon Uoliak. It took two of my precious pets away from me. I'm going to make sure your filthy ass goes into the lake of fire for this one. Ah. What a peaceful day. I really hope that this day stays just like this. I'm the Aliak. I'm the Aliak. I'm the Aliak. Where? Uh oh. Good thing that we're out of hell. But this Aliak guy is really fucking annoying. Aliak. Classic Kalu. Galu. Hi daddy daddy doo doo. Well, looks like all hell broke loose. I'm just going to go to bed and sleep this moment off like a bad hangover. I might as well ground Kalo as well. Oh no my voice is Jennifer. Where? Uh oh. Can you shut the fuck up already? You're not even funny. We are gathered today to celebrate the life of a man. A loyal man. A man who did so much for everyone. Nearly 20 years ago, this man came to us with one of the most inspired stories that to this day is remembered by the lives he touched. Today, we remember the life of Tommy Versetti, the crime king of Vice City. I along with everyone else who has played and enjoyed Vice City since its release will miss him. Fuck Tommy Versetti, and fuck Vice City too. Anyone who enjoys a faggot ass game can go suck a kind of dicks. For fuck's sake, you truly are a real piece of shit. How fucking dare you disrespect Tommy Versetti, especially at his funeral, and all of those in mourning. Kalo, you are so fucking grounded. So grounded in fact that you will forever play nothing but Vice City on your shitty ass garbage computer which funny enough, we'll play it. Now go to your room, and if I don't see you playing Vice City, I will make sure you regret the day you were ever born. I fucking hate Vice City. Wah, 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 re. Sorry for that folks. And now, we say goodbye to Tommy Versetti. May he rest in peace. I wonder what I have here to fix for dinner tonight. Oh good. Some canned Brussels sprouts and black beans. This will make an excellent supper. Who's there? You got to be kidding me. Kalu, what are you doing here? You know I got a restraining order against you. You better stop now or I will call the police. Wait. Stop. Don't. Well, whoever did this was one sick fuck. I've seen some sick shit before, but never in my life have I ever seen a murder victim whose guts have been pulled out and left out like a licked out jelly donut. I think I'm going to be sick. You better hold it in Brookie. This won't be your last time seeing a murdered corpse. It's not the body that's making me sick. It's your fucking licked out jelly donut comment. God damn it Jones.
You need to learn to not get so goddamn sensitive. Jones. Johnson, have you found any clues about the murder? Sadly not, Chief. The only thing I know is that the victim was a teacher at the local school. She was a very nice old lady too. Well, I came to let you know that there was another murder. Another murder? You got to be kidding me. I wish I was, but I recently just got radioed about it. This is going to be one of those days, isn't it? You got to be shitting me. The principal too. Yep, the principal too. I feel worse for him than the old teacher. He got it worse. Who can ever think that biting off the hands off the guy and smashing his head in like an animal cracker? Seriously, can we stop comparing these murders to food? Fat chance of the Jones. You're going to hear more of this the longer you stay on the force. Fuck a duck. No thank you. That's not what I... Oh forget it. 10-4. I'll let him know, there was another body found. What now? Did they find the school counselor dead? No. Worse. Dora the fucking explorer? Looks like it. Though, it looks like the skin and hair on her head got peeled off like fried chicken skin. You son of a- God damn it Jones. You got buke all over us. Well men, it looks like we got a serial killer on the loose. And we need to find out who it is before he strikes again. We don't need to. I know exactly who it was that committed these horrible murders. And it was none other than... Yep, it was him alright. Who else would shit on our bed? Kayla went poop. That's what I just said. Are you high on cat shit again you stupid bitch? I can't believe the little shit is behind these murders. Honestly, I thought he was executed a while back, for whatever. I really, really... Really hate this gonna make logic bullshit. Ah, uh, Jones, were you able to find and bring in our suspect? I think I did. After looking at the picture and all, I think this is our guy. Well, bring him in. Jones, this isn't Galu. This is Galu. He looks like the guy in the picture, yellow shirt and all. Galu is a little four year old bald brat with a yellow shirt. Not an ugly ass man child with a brain smaller than an amoeba. Wee wee wee, Galu go pee pee. For fuck's sake, get him out of here, and bring a fucking mop. You little fucking prick. You are in so much goddamn trouble right now. The fact that you pulled an Amanda Heard on my fucking bed is inexcusable. Give me a break, I couldn't hold it. Bull fucking shit. I know you too well, you little liar. Next thing you will say that it was the dog but too bad, because we don't own one. I'm so fucking pissed off right now that I don't want to see you in this fucking house again. There. And now to clean up that fucking mess. Ouch, I really fucking hate it when he does that. Do I really deserve all of this shit? Do I really deserve all this hate? Do I really deserve all the hate comments on these videos? Actually, fuck it. It's about time that Dan kicked me out of the house. I think there's some chinkies nearby. Time to eat enough tacos until my shithole shoots out tons of stinky ass butt gravy. Galu, where the fuck are you? Normally, he's running around at the park trying to eat bees, but he's nowhere to be found. He's probably watching some dogs humping an ugly bum or something stupid like that. Oh well, who cares? I like it better when it's just me, myself, and I. Hopefully this is the right one. You fucked up again Jones. This is not Galu. But Kalu is in his name. Okay. Let's make one thing very clear. Just because he's classic Galu doesn't mean he's Galu. Galu wears a yellow shirt, not a grey one. This whole thing is really confusing. There's Galu, Galu, classic Galu, and so on. Why do these videos have so many of these alternate characters? I honestly don't know. Do I look like a gonamator to you? Don't even answer that. I'll go find the little shit myself. Let the one go, and go back to filing police reports you fucking rookie. Why does it smell like piss in here? The previous guy I brought in here thought this room was the bathroom. That explains why my seat is wet. Honestly, this is the best day ever. And I got the taco pile here at McStinkies. I know that all of this will give me the green apple splatters. But I don't give a flying fuck. I'm going to continue to chow down. Enjoying those tacos. Not you again. What does your pig ass want? First off, shut your little fucking mouth, you spoiled ass brat. Second, 
You are under arrest for murder. Fuck you. I haven't killed anyone since that chunky turd Shao Hound. You see this in my hand. If you don't comply, I will shoot you with it. Is that a fucking desert eagle? No more questions. Come with me or your fucking existence will end here and now. As if killing me will work. I already know I will be rejected from going to hell. And stop breaking the fourth wall, now you little shit. Why the fuck did you murder those three people? I already told you that I didn't kill anyone. I have been grounded in my room since I was sent back from hell from that faggot ass Satan. Oh really? Would it surprise you that both your former teacher and principal were found dead? What? Miss Martin was murdered? No. Mrs. Stiller was murdered. Honestly, I don't really give a shit about either or the principal. Mrs. Sauer was a fat ugly frog which and the principal had a publicly known foot fetish. Also, we found Dora's body as well. What, Dora? I wouldn't kill her. I loved her. Oh that is some bullcrap. No one, and I mean no one liked her. Not even her pet gorilla liked her. Of course, I still wonder how in God's name she got a pet gorilla without her family having a special permit. I'm being honest. I loved her. We even made out. Dude, what the fuck? I didn't need to know that. Johnson, I need to. Good lord. What on earth happened to you? Food poisoning. Go ahead and clean up. I'll wait. Feeling better? Yeah. Was there something you need, Chief? Yes. An update on the serial murder case. We have another victim, and you won't believe who it is. Anyone with this diaper crapper knows? No, in matter of fact, it happened just a few minutes ago not too far from here, right after you brought Galu in for questioning. So, Galu is innocent? Yes, he's innocent. Can you please just let me inform you about the latest victim? Please. Officer Jones was the latest victim. You're shitting me. Right. No, I'm serious. Witnesses said that they saw someone who looked like Kale Lu kill him, but he had an upturned nose and talked like some sort of broken robotic woman. He was calling himself Oliak. Oliak. And that's not all. There was one other person with him who also looked like Kale Lu, but he spoke very weirdly and had very thick eyebrows. No, it can't be. Retribution will be mine. Oh, ha oh, ha oh, ha. Oh. Ha ha ha. Are you sure that this evil Gale who is located out here in the middle of nowhere? I find it strange that there would be a secret underground base for an alternative version of you to take over the world. And why on earth would he want to join up with an abomination like Holiak? Also, could we take a break? We've been walking for hours and I need to go pee. For the love of God. Can you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to remember the entrance of his fucking base. You don't need to use that language with me young man. I'm the chief of police, and I'll even go so far as to give you an old fashioned ass beating right here. I don't give a shit. Even if you were the president of the United States, I would say whatever the fuck I want to say to you. I got my rights. He does have his rights, sir. Plus, the only people who can give him that type of punishment is his parents. Goddamn kids and their backdalking. I'm going to take a piss over there, so don't look over here unless you're a flaming faggot. Seriously, Chief. You know you could be reported to the city for using such terms. Eat a dick, Johnson. Is that guy always like this? Honestly, yes. Frankly, he acts more like the original PBS Galu than you do. Because the PBS Galu is a whiny pussy. At least I got balls. I could ask you about the time you stormed PBS for cancelling your show, but honestly, I already know the answer to that. Go animate logic. Yes. Ugh. I really hate going to make logic. It doesn't make sense. Like the fact that guy is pissing on a landmine? Well no. Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> Good lord. The chief is dead. Stupid fucking prick. I told him before we got here that there could be traps. Alright. It's just me and you now. So, do you remember where exactly the base is at? I'm trying to remember. It's been almost a year since I was brought there. God damn it, you retarded fuckhead. My carpeting is not the toilet. Clean your shit up right now. That voice. Poopy poopy everywhere. Oh no, my voice is Jennifer. Well, Shut the fuck up and clean your fucking shit off my carpet. It's over here. 
Wait for me. Hey fuckface, where the hell are you? Well, well, well. If it isn't Caleb, and you brought a friend to, welcome back to my humble abode. I hope the walk wasn't too bad. First off, how the hell are you here? My dad killed you. I was brought back somehow after some bitch girl named Dory tried to summon you back from the dead despite you weren't dead anymore. Instead, her incantation backfired and brought back every alternative version of you instead. She was the unfortunate one as you Oliak was the one that came to it directly. So this Oliak killed Dora as well as Mrs. Sauer and the school principal? Yes. He loves eating people. It is his favorite treat. Speaking of which, you Oliak, it's supper time. Oliak hungry. Where? <laughs> oh sweet Jesus. Get off of me. Holy fucking shit. Now say your prayers, Caleb. Oliak will now eat you. Ha, 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 ha. Ye. Caleb is dessert. Bad Caleb is side dish to beefy cop man. No. Get away from me. Where? No. Wa, 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 wa. Great. Need to get out of here while he's distracted. Twinkle, twinkle, little car, how I wonder where you fart. Where? Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, that was so terrifying. I think I dropped a big load in my nappy. Where? Uh, uh, uh. Oh fuck, here he comes. Galu protect Kalu. What the actual ass hitties was that all about? Finally we found your dumb ass. Classic Kalu, I thought you and Kalu were. Oh wait, that's right, Dora brought you back. What is going on? You need to transform into Fat Fart Man. It is the only way to defeat that Oyak abomination. But people hated Fat Fart Man. He only lasted two videos. Kalu, no one cares if he was unpopular or not. One way to defeat an abomination is with another abomination. Just fucking turn into Fat Fart Man before Oyak kills Galu, or else I will kill you. Well, since he put it that way, Fat Fart Man powers activate. Lo and behold, I, Fat Fart Man will defeat the evil Oyak and save all of humanity with my stash. What the fuck? That's not what Fat Fart Man is supposed to sound like. You sound like your fucking dad. What happened? Go animate logic. Not that go animate logic bullshit. I'm out of here before things get really fucking stupid with that cat crap. I might as well go save Galu before Oyak kills him. Where? Uh, 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 uh. Galu need help. Wah, get off of him now, Alyak. Galu saved. <coughs> Gross. <coughs> Eat this, Alyak, you fucking dumb ass abomination. <coughs> now to make sure you never come back, but whole expand. <coughs> Adios, fuckware. Oh fuck yeah, we don't have to worry about that Aliak anymore. Farting him to another planet causing it to explode will permanently keep him from ever coming back. Well well well. If it isn't Kalo as the fugly fat fart man. As much as it is good that you got rid of the Waliak once and for all, I must have payment for the loss of Galu and Classic Galo. So, I'm taking away your ability to turn into this fat fuckery. Kabuma. You're dead. I don't care. I'm the devil. Also, I'm keeping Dora as well. Goodbye. Can this get any worse? Kalo. Where the fuck are you, boy? It's punishment day, you little shit. Exit stage left. 
you know, this is getting pretty stupid, because of what Liak did. I'm stuck going back to school. This sucks crusty gorilla dong. Oh joy, another school year has come. Time to see who my new classmates are. What the fuck? Kalu, what are you doing here? I thought you were expelled from here. I was, but I was forced to come back due to some really stupid shit. Also, what's wrong with your voice? You sound like a grown ass man. I had an operation on my vocal cords, and I wanted a badass voice. I see that you have the voice of a whiny ass bitch. So suck my balls you baldy looking motherfucker. Go get killed by Wabu again you ginger hair faggot. Your insults are poorer than hobo piss. Now shut up. The teacher is coming. Sorry I'm late class. I had to go get situated at my new house since moving back here from overseas. You got to be shitting me. You too? Why is it you two again? I really got the shit out of the motherfucking peanut barrel. I should have stayed in Paris. Oh, you won't get shit from me. I've been a good boy. Bull fucking shit. You were a loud mouth pain in the dick. And you Kalo. You're the biggest producer of shit I have ever known. The both of you suck. I asked you to let me go to the bathroom that one time, and you wouldn't let me go. That's on your dumb ass. Okay. I will admit that part was my fault, but I still don't expect any good from you Kalo. At least you're better than Miss Sour. I'll take that as a compliment. I never liked that fugly bitch anyway. And the principal was a bigger dumbass too, because you made my day a bit better Kalo. You can leave school early to go to Chuck E. Cheese's. No shit. No shit. Now go enjoy yourself. Thank you so much Miss Martin. You are a big bias bitch. Just die already Leo. Not again. Wah, 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 Re. Come on. You all saw that coming. Plus, don't think I'm going to be nice to Kalo for long. He's been on the top of my shit list for a long ass time. Miss Martin, what have I told you about breaking the fourth wall? Oh. Sorry, Mr. Cooley. I didn't think you were listening. Whatever. Don't do it again or you're fired. Still can't believe the superintendent hired a Go animator as a principal. This is really going to suck. This is the final straw, Kalo. You are grounded, 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 grounded. You little piece of shit. I can't believe. Hey. Where the fuck are you going? I had enough of this shit. I'm leaving for good. I can't stand being in a world where I am grounded, punished, or executed. I'm leaving for somewhere better. Oh, sure. Go run away. How about you run away to Hollywood? I bet you'll have fun there. I will do that. Thanks for the suggestion, you fucking He'll be back. Little fucking shit. Wait for me. I need to get the hell out of Go Animate City. Take me to Hollywood. Finally, I made it to Hollywood. Oh my god, it smells like a dump here. And, I think that guy may be dead. I wonder. Grandpa? He must be a bum or something. Now he smells like shit. I really need to leave this alley. It smells like Cleo's ass crack. CDD. CDD here. Get your good CDD here. How about Delta 8? Or Delta 10? We got a good hit here. Get fucking high. Can I have some? No kid. Gotta be 21 or else my ass will get fucked like no tomorrow. That's fucking gay. Ain't gonna lose my license here kid. Also why do you look kinda shitty looking? I look like shit. Look at you. Try to get smart with me kid and you'll end up in the hospital with a beer bottle of your baby ass. This is 1996 territory bitch. It's 2022 you fucking retard. Even so, here, everything is still pretty 90s. Look. I don't walk. I just fucking move. I can even pull a burger out of my ass. Dude, don't eat that. They call me Gus. I'm Kilo. Well, Kilo, I could stay and talk. But I really need to throw up. Oh, fucking gross. I'm afraid to see what else is in this fucked up town. So my ginger hair body wants some fuck? Get me something blue. I really like blue. It is like blue. I got blue. Swoody swoop. This is too fucking weird. I think I just pooped my pants. No. 
What's the fucking use? Everything here is so fucking weird. I don't understand the appeal of this godforsaken place in the software that it comes from. Maybe because of the generation gap? Generation gap? Yes. You see, this place, Hollywood conserves its 90s era settings as this place was made in that era. You're gonna mate, right? Well, you have more use to the mid 2010 style. You got better movement than we do here, but there are those that still admire Hollywood and Hollywood High. Even Sir Kulidism has memories here as without this place, his comedy style for the video starring you probably wouldn't exist. Should I head back to go animate city? You could, or would you rather explore more out there in software like this or other software that is used for stuff like this? Fuck it. I'm already grounded so fuck Hollywood and Hollywood High. This place sucks worse than Gorilla Nut Cheese. Fuck you too. We don't need people like him here. We can handle ourselves. We got another random explosion again. Quick. Get some water on that shit. Back already, huh? I hope you enjoy being grounded. Honestly, I don't care anymore. You can suck my dick, eat my shit, and go jump off a bridge, you goddamn motherfucking <laughs> Oh, by the way, I transferred all your money to buy Bitcoin with my name as payback for your suggestion. Enjoy being poor fuckface. Um. Did my retardo bald son just punish me? Will someone answer my goddamn question? Hey Rosie, wanna play a game? No, not really, especially not with you. How come? Because I hate you. I really hate you. You turned me into a freak for eating all the peanut butter, forced me to piss myself, and you kicked me out of my bedroom window after I went poo-poo in my nappy. Honestly, I don't see why you want to use a toilet to pee in, but then shit in a nappy. That's fucking weird. I'm two years old you dumb chungus. Plus, why complain about that when you piss and shit yourself all the time? Okay you got a point there, but you really hate me, your own brother? Yes, I actually hate you more than anyone else in these videos. All the shit you pull. You are a stupid spoiled brat that needs to wake up and realize that he's a parasite in this whole universe. Well then, I guess I will go kill myself if that is the case. Wait, stop. I'm sorry Kalu. I'll play with you. Don't kill yourself. After all, Suicide is not the answer. Do you mean that? Yes. What I said was way too far, and I would feel extremely guilty if I lost you to self-elimination. Apology accepted. How about we play a good old game of hide and seek? Okay, you hide and I'll seek. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh dear Rosie, instead of hide and seek, I'm pushing the game up to hide and go poop, and here is where I will do it. Poopy poopy everywhere. Poopy poopy in my underwear. Poopy poopy here it comes. Ah, much better. 98. 99. 100. Ready or not, here I come. Ugh, what is that smell? And why is it coming from my room? Oh hell no. Oh my fucking god, there is shit everywhere. It's everywhere. What the fuck? Daddy, come here, quick. Rosie. What is? Oh my god. Why is there shit all over your room? I'll give you three guesses and the first two don't count. Kalo. Get your ass in here now. What's going on? I was playing a game of hide and seek, and I was waiting for Rosie to find me. Let me ask you this. Why is there shit all over Rosie's room? She may have had a poopy diaper accident. No. I know Rosie's shit from yours. Plus your eyes gave your lie away you little dumb ass. Okay, I will admit that this is my shit. And I will also admit that I lied to Rosie about playing hide and seek. I was actually playing hide and go poop. You motherfucker. You know what this means. You are grounded. And for your punishment, you will clean all of your shit out of Rosie's room. And Rosie will go shit all over your room. Rosie will what? You heard me. Rosie, go mess up Kalo's room with the nastiest butt gravy you have. Oh I will. You deserve this big time you big butt fucker. Oh, after she's done, you will have to clean up her shit as well. Get to work, Baldy. Well, shit. 
Man, so much shit, so much fucking shit I had to clean up. My room is so stanky that it smells worse than a men's room in a crappy ass strip club. Actually, I never been to a strip club before. So, maybe one there doesn't stink so bad. Looks like I know what I'm gonna have to do. Well, that was easy. It helps that the cop guy who guarded this place is dead. Well, I was wrong. My room doesn't smell as bad as this fucking shithole. Even one of those pee toilet things is leaking shit. I better get out of here before I throw up. Man, this place is so loud. And the music sucks. And all of those ugly ass women are taking their bras off to show those pathetic looking men their boobies. There's even old stinky alcoholic drinks laying around. They smell worse than the bathroom. Well, I might as well get the fuck out of here. Kalo, what the hell are you doing here? Miss Mart, what are you doing here? Just answer my fucking question you little shit. I came to see the restroom, that's all. Also, why are you dressed in those clothes? Are you a stripper? That's none of your business. You're not even supposed to be in this establishment. I'm going to make sure you don't come into this place again. I really need to stop taking 5 hour naps. My sleep schedule is so fucked up that every time I get home from work, I fall asleep on this fucking couch. Shit. I wonder who is at the fucking door. What the hell? Kalo? Ms. Martin? What the ass shitties is going on here? I caught Kalo going into a men's club. A men's what? Kalo? Did you really sneak out of your room again to go to a nudie bar? I did. But Miss Martin didn't shut your fucking mouth right now. Go to your room and stay there. You are forever banned from leaving your room, even to use the shitter. Now fuck off. Wah, 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 re. Now, Miss Martin, I would like to ask you to leave so I can get some sleep. Well, at least he didn't hear about what I was doing there. Miss Martin, get out of my fucking house now. I think I just shit my pants. That means you two, you assholes. Man, oh man. I got a shit ton of candy this Halloween. I was able to sneak out and get all the candy I want. And now, I'm going to eat all of it. So fucking good. <coughs> ah, I ate all the candy. But honestly, I don't feel too good. What the fuck? I'm fucking fat. Why am I fucking fat? Wah, 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 I don't believe that shit. Tell me the truth or I'm throwing your fat ass out the fucking window. I ate a shit ton of Halloween and candy nonstop. Well, I would ground you, but seeing how fucking obese you are, you deserve being fat as a punishment. But, to add more to your suffering, I'm putting you on a diet of eating nothing but vegetables so you can lose all that fucking weight. No, not that. Yes, starting today. You will be eating nothing but veggies. Now excuse me while I go make you a steaming pile of Brussels sprouts lardy McFat ass. Fuck a duck. I'm in so much pain. I'm so fucking fat from all of that candy. Dad has been stuffing my face with veggies. And I'm shitting more than a vegan on a high fiber diet. Enough is enough. I'm going to do something about it now. Go animate logic. Ah, much better. Wait a minute, I just thought of something. I think it's time for me to use this on dad. Ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Oh fuck. <coughs> Enough of this shit, time to do this now. Oh hi baldy retardo pants. Looks like you lost all that fucking weight. No thanks to you asshole. Been having the green apple splatters up there? All green apple splatters you fuck face. Go animate logic powers activate. What? Oh look. Nothing happened. What the fuck? Why am I looking at myself? Well well well. Looks like we switched bodies dad. And it's about to happen in 3. 2. What's about to? Oh no. That's what you fucking get for force feeding me so many veggies to the point of me having the screaming shits. 2 can play this game. Go animate logic powers activate. Well, look who is back in poopy pants. You son of a, the fuck? I changed your voice to Ivy, bitch. And now, you are grounded until you learn to never ever do that go animate logic powers bullshit again.
Go to your room. Wah, 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 three. I hope that's the end of that. Hey, fuck face. Not you again. Oh, joy. It's Black Friday. I wonder what's for sale online. Holy poop hole. Look at all this stuff for sale on Amazon. New video games, new toys, and even a PS5 and a Xbox Series X. I know this is a lot of money, but thankfully, I was able to remember dad's credit card information. What? You think I was always a dumbass? At least I'm smart enough to remember credit card information by memory. You assuming jackasses. Ah. At last, I got everything decorated for Christmas since Thanksgiving is now over with. Who the hell is calling me? Hello? Hello sir, this is Credit Card Services. We believe that your cart has been used fraudulently to purchase over $5,000 worth of item on Amazon. What? Can you cancel that please? Yes we can, hang on a minute. The person used their name instead of yours. Do you know a K. Lou Anderson? Oh yes I do. Can you go ahead and cancel that card, and give me a new one? Absolutely, we'll get right on that. Have a good day sir. Oh. It's going to be a good day alright. A good day to ground a little ungrateful shit. What the fuck? Why didn't my order get cancelled? Because I cancelled my card you little shit. So, you tried to use my credit card information to try to purchase $5,000 worth of needless crap on Amazon? I don't give a shit that it's Black Friday. You don't order $5,000 of stuff with someone else's money. You are grounded for the remainder of the year. That means no Christmas, no Santa, no New Year's Eve. And you lost your right for an allowance forever. All you will get is nappies and pull-ups to piss and shit in. Now cry like a little bitch like always. Wah, 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 re -e. That's enough of that. I spent all day watching women getting pooped on by cows, and I'm now starting to feel sick. For fuck's sake, another goddamn ad. Tired of being a useless nobody that watches cow poop videos? Well, have no fear. You can officially become a Scottish lord or lady if you buy a small plot of our land for as much as you want. With each purchase, we will plant a tree on said land. Yes, everyone will worship you. Even Satan will be disappointed at himself because he is not a Scottish lord. Don't wait. Buy a plot now. Also, this is not a scam that is full of lies. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to say that. Forget what I said. Be a Scottish lord or lady now. Oh dog nuts. I'm going to do that now. Thankfully I still have all of that Bitcoin. Ha ha ha. Finally. I got all the Christmas decorations done. Time to watch some TV. In recent news, another Scottish land ownership scam has been reported. If you see one of these ads, whatever you do, do not give these assholes your money. They will take it and use it to shove Christmas trees up people's asses. Ugh. Sounds like my wife with the monkey fuck. Make way for Lord Kalu the Awesome. You got to be shitting me. Now you pathetic peasant. Go to your new lord. Let me guess. You bought Scottish land? Hate to tell you this, but you got scammed. You better have not used any of my money or I will shove that Christmas tree up your baby ass. First of all, you sound like mom. But no. I didn't use your money. I used all of my Bitcoin. Oh. You are a true dipshit. Honestly, I would ground you. But hearing that you lost all of your money in Bitcoin to a Scottish Lord scam is hilarious. You fucking retard. It's not funny. Wah, 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 re. All hail Lord Kalo the dipshit. Lord of absolutely nothing. Re, e, 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 e. I think I'm going to piss my pants. Oh shit. Boris. What the fuck? Thank you for over 800 subscribers. I hope you enjoyed the video. This game is way too easy, and yet I only got second place in that last race. Well, since that last race was fucking bullshit, I guess I'll watch some stunt videos on YouTube. And now, another clip from the best TV show of all time, Jackass. Now this is great. I wish I did amazing stunts like those guys. Wait a minute, I got an idea. I can make my own Jackass videos and put them on YouTube like the big motherfucking boss I am. 
Hey Rosie, get your stinky ass in here. What the hell do you want shit breath? I want you to record a video of me doing some funny ass stunts. What's in it for me? I'll buy you that new Final Fantasy game coming out next year. Bitch, does it look like I own a PS5? Uh, the Spider-Man games on Steam? Already have them you faggot. Starfield? Better. Now what do you want me to record? This is the dumbest thing you ever done Kalu. Shut up Rosie. This is jackass. It's supposed to be stupid. That's what makes it great. Alright alright. Just fucking do your stupid stunt. Hello everyone. I'm Kayla Anderson. And this is Santa's chocolate mud sled. Dog. What the fuck is that stank? <coughs> what the hell? Did someone fucking take a shit down my chimney? Who the fuck would do something like that? God damn it. It's that fucking Kalu. And he has Rosie filming it. That motherfucker is going to pay. Come on, Cooley. Pick up. Hey, Barney. What's up? Dog. Kalu took a huge shit down my chimney. And I think he's heading your way. Oh. I got a surprise for that little shit stain. Good thing I saved this from last 4th of July. Now to wait. Santa's mudslide number two just for you. Santa mudslide this bitch. I think something went up my ass. <laughs> e -e. Holy shit. E -e. Out my head. My ass. My jackass video is ruined. Good. Because I got a jackass stunt for you. I'm Boris Anderson. And this is the Nutcracker. Da 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 da. Da da. Da da. Re -re -re. Happy holidays everyone. And to the happy new year.